they are passed on by word of mouth from generation to generation. And some of the important values, ethical principles, ethical ideas are embodied, embedded in the life of some extraordinary human being. They are the embodiment of those important ideas set in the folklore. The ideas or the important principles which are set in that particular story may be difficult to practice. So the text may be beautiful, but the context may be very ugly. Similarly, within the Indian tradition of the folklore, the mountains and certain plants like pebble tree or tulsi plant and so many other plants are also revered. They are even worshipped. They are greatly respected. And yet, when it comes to the contest, the situation is just the opposite. So similarly, even within the tribal stories, the folklore, there are wonderful stories are there. Like for example, what uh, uh, your colleague, he has shown me about the one show in, through his uh, drawing, how the two brothers descended from heaven to earth to see the earth's condition and to cut the story short, the ladder was removed by the younger brother as per his uh, depiction, drawing. The ladder was removed. If we take them in the symbolic form, the metaphorical meaning, the figure of speech meaning, and try to decipher them, try to delineate them, to connect different concepts, different symbols, and try to derive something, then that will be very important for all of us human beings. Because today, in the world, we humans are facing even very serious uh, environmental crisis. And the whole world is at a loss as to how to come together. And for the solution of this, in different folklore, important embodiments of ideals are given, but because of our human tendency of our totalizing activities, or so-called grand narrative or meta-narrative, huge story, it is these huge stories which matter, but small, small, these stories don't matter at all. They are primitive, they are backward, they are uncivilized, if we have this sort of notion, then we lose that important meaning which is to be offered to the humankind. So different, small, even small societies, small communities have important lessons to give us. So that important lesson, unless one has a very open mind and a reflective mind and a critical synthesizing mind, one will simply ignore them, thereby one will reduce it into just a complete nonsense. But as the way all of you are doing exercise for animation and through the animation, you are trying to project and trying to read between the line and from each uh, action activities, you are trying to connect the meaning, you are trying to draw out the meaning. But there may be also disconnected uh, meaning, there may be disconnected concept. But how to bring about a synthesizing, a properly symmetrical kind of an understanding, thereby you can roughly weave a world view. If we can even imbibe some of the important ideas for our living, I think that would be very, very meaningful.
But many a time, as I said earlier, there is a huge gap between the theory and the practice, or the ideal and the practice, or the text and the context. There may be a huge gap. But if we are serious, sincere, authentic, then maybe we can narrow that gap. And we, an attentive mind, if we pay attention, then we may be able to delineate, we may be able to absorb or make up <coughs> to the constructed uh, symbol, we can make up those uh, ideas for ourselves. And in turn, we can, by way of imparting education to others in the form of maybe book, and we can teach even to the school student. And at the college and university level also, we can have such education. Without that, everything would be disconnected. And if they are disconnected, they may be marginalized. Marginalized ideas and marginalized practices. And in which case, later on, it may be put even only in the museum. No longer use, no longer practice, no longer a living experience, no longer practice anymore. So it is just out there in the museum, death or did death. The lived experience is lost. The phenomenological understanding is completely disconnected, dissociated, decontextualized, thereby it has lost. So in order that we do not lose that thing, some of the important folklore, and the folk tale that we have, the moral lesson and the ethical principle and the ethical idea, you have to draw out. And if you can effectively show them to your animation movie, I think that will serve a very good purpose. It will serve a very good purpose for human living. And the whole world as a community itself we are facing a very, very serious crisis. As an uh, intelligent student, we have to read and interpret the symbol. What do the symbol signify? What is the signifier? And what is signified? Uh, Naga, Angami Naga, Mao, and Chakasan, that the three brothers, tiger, spirit, and human, Three of them were brothers, and they were given birth to by a, a mysterious uh, god, goddess called Mosara. She gave birth to tiger, spirit, and human. But here, if we take literally, without applying our mind, how a particular goddess can give birth to tiger and also give birth to human and also to spirit, spirit which is not even visible, not touchable, not tangible, not seeable, not experienceable. How that could be possible? The morale of the less story of the folklore, one has to read behind. By that, what it means is the whole cosmos is interconnected, interdependent. They are one and the same ultimately. The basic building block, the basic making material is very much the same and they are closely interconnected. So in that spirit, the tiger, the spirit, and human, they all are brothers in the same, they all are interconnected. And scientifically, as some of you are science students, you know, a lot of our human body is also composed of carbon. And a lot of uh, even trees, high percentage of trees is also composed of carbon. 
And in the minutest uh, analysis and division, it comes down to atoms and then neutrons, electrons, protons, quark, mesons, etc. So at that level, a lot of things are similar. They are very close to each other. And in that sense, if they are so close to each other, in that sense of brother as one family, in the sense of that family, not literally in a human family, no, but in the metaphorical sense of a family, in that sense, that they all are one. 